Okay, welcome back. This is part six of my complete file upload website uh, tutorial series. And in the last video, we added a logo image and we created our login form on the index page. Uh, so, yeah. Now what we're going to do is we're going to style our login form and our button. Uh, and then eventually, pretty soon, we're going to style our links as well, just a standard link, which actually we'll do that first. So you want to go to your layout.css page. We're going to scroll down uh, right above our corners, but below all of our, uh, our uh, div IDs. And I'm just going to throw in some comments here. And I'm going to say style form elements can't even spell elements okay so uh, what we're gonna do is all you're gonna type in is an A uh, much like we did in our nav uh, nav bar right here we have A and A hover we're gonna be doing the same thing down here except this is gonna style all the other links um, so it's gonna style every other link except for in the nav so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give it color that's probably really the only thing we're going to do. And we have the color picker here. Kind of gets a... It was like a blue color. Look kind of nice. Get something like this or something. A little bit more bluish. Trying to get a nice color here. That'll be good. We'll just... Uh, that totally did not work. Okay, well, let's try that again. Like that. Okay. And there. So you see, it just changes the color. It's this lighter blue. Um, it does look a lot, a little bit nicer. And we're going to get rid of the uh, text decoration, which in this case is underlined. So we're going to set the text decoration to none. So it's just going to have nothing. And I'm actually going to go to a website called colorpicker.com. Uh, now, I use this fairly often. Um, uh, and it's really all it is is just a color picker that someone made. It's very handy. And I use it a lot of the times to choose my colors because it's a lot, it's very simple to use and everything. So, try that. And that's good for now. Uh, it's for the most part, the exact same thing. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is that styles every link. Now what we're going to do is we're going to style the hovers. So a hover. And we're going to change the color. And we're going to give the color uh, like a red. We'll give it red. It's right there. And we're also going to give it a text decoration of underline. So it'll underline the text when we hover over. Right there, you see? Right there. Looks a little bit nicer. Um, so, yeah. That's what our links are going to look like. Uh, Alright. So, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to style our form. Now, before we do this, I am just going to give the password a value. And so, our password box of value of password, and our username box of value of username. There we go. Refresh. Uh, now, because I actually have a username already in here, uh, because it automatically fills it in for some reason, uh, it's probably because something I use uses the exact same uh, names. So it just automatically fills that in. Okay, so we're going to go to the layout page. Um, and before we do this, I forgot that's not a form element. So style HTML, style HTML elements. So to style our form elements, we simply, you can do one of two things. You can create individual classes for each element, like a text box, uh, check box, radio button, and a submit button, which is what we're going to do because we're really only going to be styling two things, uh, which is text boxes and um, buttons. So we're just going to use classes. 
So the first one, you want to put a period that signifies that we're styling a class. And then we're going to say text box. That's going to be the name of it. And in here, we're going to say border. Oh, we're not going to give it a border yet. We're going to say background color. And we're going to give this a background color of a very light gray. Something like that. Why isn't that working? Light grayish color. Uh, and we need to go to our source code once again. And we need to give our text boxes themselves a class uh, definition. So our class is going to be right here. So text box. Finish that off. We're going to get rid of that. Oh, not that one. And then we're also going to paste it for our password box. So we save and refresh. See, we now have uh, that. So, yeah. Um, I guess I'll use this. We'll give it a border of solid one pixel, and we'll make it black. Apply. So you can see it automatically fills it in. Uh, background color. We're going to give it a little bit different coloring. Something like that. It kind of goes along with our theme. Um, hmm, that'll be good. So we save and refresh. You see, we now have a one pixel border and our background color. Now it looks a little bit kind of flat. Um, and that's because we gave it just a simple border. Now we're going to uh, style our login button here uh, real quick. So when we want to go to our source code, we want to paste our class in, except we're going to change the class name to, to button. And then we need to create a new class, uh, class style, and call it button. And we're going to grab the border and the background and we're going to change the background to actually let's try going with the same background you see it automatically styles it right there uh, now I want something a little bit darker so I'm just going to copy this value go to colorpicker.com paste it in it automatically changes Something a little bit darker. Something like that. Paste it in. Save. Refresh. See, it's a little bit darker. That's still not really quite what I want. Um, so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to figure out the exact color that I want it to be. So I will be back momentarily. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I decided to use the, the default color right here, the color we already chose as the color for that and uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to create another class we're going to call it button colon hover so we hover over our button we're going to give it a uh, background color of this CCC ABA so that's the background color I'm choosing so it's kind of a grayish color so you see when we hover it's kind of this grayish color um, and it, it does look kind of nice, uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, so it does look a lot nicer than just having it like this, hovering over it, not doing anything. Uh, so I'm gonna stop this video here. This is the end of the design of the website. Um, so uh, there will be source code in the description for the complete design of the website, uh, tutorials one through five or six, whatever video this is. Um, so it'll be all the way up till this video. Uh, the source code will be in the description of all the previous videos, if you haven't already noticed. Um, and uh, yeah, okay, so this is the end of the design of the website, at least for now. Uh, I might end up changing something later or something, I don't know, haven't, I don't know something might come up. Uh, so in the next couple of videos we will be creating our user login and register uh, process so 
uh, one of the videos there, check it out.